Hey everybody, Todd McFarlane here. Thanksgiving's coming up and the Todd Father, somebody made this for me. I'm going to do a quick uh, drawing. I'm here by myself uh, at the office. Nobody's here. So I'm going to hold the camera myself and show you how to do a head here. Let me see if I can flip this real quick. Oh, darn it. How do I flip my camera? Come on, Newman. Okay, I'm going to go this way then and hope you guys can see what I have here. All right, I'll hold it here and see it. Oh, you know what? It's not going to work. I'm going to flip the camera and start. Oh, sorry, maybe if I hit this button. Oh, perfect. All right, you can see my age. I'm a dumbass. Uh, let's talk about the head. Okay, uh, for years I've been telling you real quickly, if you're going to actually do something with the head, you've got to have the the oval, right? The oval is going to look like an egg, and then you draw a line this way, and you draw a line this way in the center. This is where you get your eyes, this is where you get your nose, and then this is where you get your mouth, okay? that That's the easy part. I've done that video. You guys can take a look at it, right? Here we go. So there's there's the head here. Boom, we're ready to go. The question now is how do you move it up and down? So let's go over here real quick. I've done a light sketch. You still start with the same oval. So you still draw an oval here. Boom, 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 boom. Right? The difference is is that now you still now you start moving your line. So your center line that was here, just put your center line like off to the side here. And now if you're going to look up, this is going to be a shot we're going to look up. Then you make sure that your lines start curving like they would if they were going around an egg. This is why I've actually told you before that one of the ways to actually learn some of these tricks is to actually go to get a real egg and draw these lines on it. Draw the lines here, draw the line here, draw the lines for the mouth, and then when you turn the egg, you're going to see how these lines go up. So once you have these lines going up, it then becomes, and let me pull this back real quickly. So there we go. Um, once you have those lines, then it becomes very easy to be able to now start going, oh, there's my line. All right, so now I'm going to put an eye in here. Right? Here's going to be the eye. Here's going to be another eye up in here. Boom, boom, boom. Here's going to be the nose. The nose is going to have to come up over here because you're looking at it, so you're going to get an upshot of the nose, so you might see some boogers or something like that. Right? So the nose is going to come up in here. And then you're going to have... The lip, the bottom lip is going to curve, and then you maybe have some teeth here, and then you're going to have the mouth is going to be up in here. So the, the thing, the mistake that a lot of people make when I see it, even in comic books, is that they don't curve the eyes, curve the nose, curve the mouth. And then if you continue your line, remember that the ears are in line with the eyes. So if you keep that line curved right here, then you're going to run into the ear real quickly. Right? And then you're going to get it. So here's going to be this. Here's going to be your chin down in here. Right? You're going to come up in here. We're going to add, we're going to add, there we go here. Put a little bit of a shadow underneath up in here. And then you start to cut the chin area up in here. And you're going to get your eyebrow. And you're going to get your head. And then up underneath here, you're going to get your neck, which is going to come with the shadows. And then you're going to have your neck muscles up in here. And then you're going to come up in here. But, and you're going to have some more neck here. And then eventually you start building the rest of your of your body here. Right? So once you have that, then like I said, it becomes easy then to put your, your eyebrows in. Right? And then you've got it there. So very quickly, we've done a shot where you went from him staring at you to him looking up. You can also do the exact same thing if you want to look down now. Right, so let's go to this one go, going down here. Same thing. You're going to come in here, and let's shrink this just a little bit, Todd. All right, uh, there we go. All right. So now you're going to still come in here with your egg. So you still got your egg drawing here, right? So here's your egg again. So for this time, we're going to take that middle line, put it any way you want. I don't care where you want. But now we're going to have it so it's looking down. So the way to look it down is you then put the eye line way low, which means that the nose line has to go low, 
which means then that the mouth line has to go low. So all of those have to go low. So once you get that, then I'll pull this back. There's a little bit there. Put another layer in there. And then if you follow these lines again, then you can then go, oh, here's where the eye goes. Right? I'll go in a little bit closer. So here's the eye. Here's here's going to be the eyebrow. We're going to go to the other side. Follow Follow the contour. Here's going to be the eye here. Again, follow the eyebrow up in here. Right? Boom. And then you're going to come up in here, and then you're going to have the nose is going to be up in here. Now, the nose is going to be way down on the face because, again, he's looking down. So it's going to be way, way pointed, right? So we're going to have that. We'll come up here, finish the head here. And remember, now we're, now we're following this line up, which now means that the ear goes up over here, right? So the ear is now going to be above the eyes. On the other one, the ear was below the eyes. Because as long as you're following your line, you're going to be in the right spot. But now that the nose is down and you have the mouth, then this is where, don't get afraid, the mouth has to now basically sometimes cut into the nose. So it's going to cut into the nose. Let's say he's smiling here. Give him a little bit of a mouth in there. There we go. And then we're going to come up in here. And the chin is going to be really small. Why? Because, again... We're pointing his head downward. And now that his head's downward, right? So you're going to have way more head, right? Just all you need to know is you're going to have way more head when he's looking down here. As compared to when he was looking up, you had way less forehead. So when he's looking down, he's going this way. And now you can then come in here, like I said, and start throwing in a couple of your lines that are going to be the neck. And since you're, we're going down here, then obviously the neck muscles are going to be a little bit higher up in here, and then the shoulder muscles are going to be up higher. You're going to have your clavicle, which is your collarbone, and then you're going to have these lines up in here. And pretty soon you got a guy, and he's looking down, right? So it's the same rule. Remember, same rule. Egg, center, here, nose, right? You've got your triangle. You do it. Now just move it up, down, left, or right, and you can start to do basically any face you want, and it's true for anybody. And if you don't believe me, look in the mirror. It, all, it works that way. Anyways, that's it. See you on Thanksgiving. Hope everybody has a good time. Todd McFarland, peace out, everybody.